Hi guys, quickly wanted to show you a video of how to use the Brixies library. Um, we've had a couple of questions in the in the Facebook group here. Um, people asking us whether there is a link to enter in the settings of Bricks Builder, like, you know, like a remote library link. Uh, there's none of that in Brixies, at least not at this point. Today is just a matter of heading to the Brixies website, picking the layout you want to copy, copy the JSON code and paste it in the uh, Briggs Builder canvas. But the idea of this video is to show you how this works. It's really simple. Let's head straight to it. So there's, um, you know, once you're on the homepage, you're logged in, you have an account and you are logged in, you can either go, you know, use the library button, which will, which will just take you to, you know, the library, um, and uh, you will see the entire library there, or you could eventually just use the um, categories uh, link at the top left here, which allows you to scroll straight to, you know, any type of uh, section that you are interested in. In my case, I'm going to use or choose for a header to start my website with. So here we go. That's it. So I got my headers uh, filtered that's activated now, as you can see here as well. And, you know, you will straight away see the uh, thumbnail view of the available uh, layouts in this um, category. Uh, so let's look at this header two here now, you know, thumbnail view of the layout of the header we're talking about, really simple, straightforward header. Then you get a copy button, which will allow you to you know, just straight away copy the JSON code as it is and paste it straight in your Bricks Builder canvas. You could add, you know, with this button here, remove or add a layout to your list of favorites. Um, you can uh, decide to straight away rename the class before you uh, copy it. Or let's, you know, first take a, a more detailed look at our uh, layout here. Let's do that first. So this detailed view brings us to a new screen where I'm going to be able to switch from a desktop view to a tablet view and to a mobile view and show, you know, show you how the, um, the uh, elements of the layout work in the difference on the different screen sizes, right? So again, my uh, heart icon to add a layout to my favorites. Uh, again, the simple copy button, but you know, this is the one most people are interested in. It's just the rename class button where you, you know, let's show you right away what it does. So I click on it. It takes me to uh, this box here where I can rename, you know, you remember we saw that the layout that we are on now is called header two. So that's how the uh, class naming is going to look like right now. But I can rename that right away to something that will make more sense to me for my project. Uh, my header is perhaps not the best name, but I mean, I'm sure you will come up with something much better. So if I click this button now, it will straight away rename uh, the classes of my uh, layout and copy the JSON with the renamed classes. You just got a, a pop-up showing here that confirms this. So this means we can now head to Bricks Builder. Oh, I uh, already pre-made a footer and a header template in uh, Bricks, but they're still empty. So I can straight away go to the canvas. And that's where I can now just on a Mac, I can use Command V on Windows. That will probably be something like Control V to just here you go, paste the header into the canvas and basically you're done. So what I wanted to show you now as well is that our section here is called my header. That's just at the section level container. The class is called my header container. Well, you can just see all the elements, the logo, the menu, the button, that all the uh, BEM renaming has been done on uh, the Brixies website. And so you don't need to fiddle with these um, BEM renaming uh, things anymore inside of uh, Bricks Builder. That's pretty much the advantage and the gain of time you have. Now, um, 
what else can I show you? Yeah, some, some side note as well. Why is this button blue? Well, this is not something that's imported from uh, Brixies. It's blue because it's set up like that in the ACSS settings, in my color palette settings uh, from ACSS. So that's why it, 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 you know, for example, the I guess the um, the action color was set to blue, and that's why the button is right away blue. Um, that's it, I guess. Um, we'll probably be making a few more videos in the coming days, uh, showing you some, you know, a little a little bit more complex uh, layouts than this header where you got some clamp functions and where you got some CSS to import as well and we'll show you how to um, to uh, work with those. Hope um, this was uh, exactly what, when it, what you wanted to see for a first video and I guess most of you would, will be able to uh, move forward with this one.